Hello everyone and a warm welcome from Visaman UK. I hope you guys are keeping well. Uh, thank you very much uh, for all the views, uh, all the likes and the subscriptions uh, that you've provided to my channel and for all the continued love and support that you provide me and the appreciation for my videos. Uh, really enjoying uh, providing you uh, advice and consultation and I, I'm hoping that I'm doing justice to uh, your questions and your requests uh, that come through to me. So this in this video I just wanted to uh, focus a little bit on a concept called the immigrant health surcharge which I'm sure a lot of you who are already in the middle of your uh, visa applications would have, would have uh, come across uh, and have wondered what it actually is. So just a bit of background and some information about how much to pay and how, how to go about it basically in this video. Right, the NHS or the National Health Service uh, is a UK organization which provides free medical advice and consultation uh, and historically it was free for all UK residents. Uh, so if you are a UK resident, uh, if you've from, from provided visa or you were born here, you just could just go to the uh, the local NHS medical center and uh, register yourself and uh, then as and when you're ill just receive free medical consultation uh, of course you would still pay for your prescription medicines uh, which also depends on a number of factors because there are a number of people number of categories of people who are exempt from that which we'd not be going into in this video obviously uh, but the reality of the, the the fact now is that the reality of the situation is that non EEA or European Economic Area immigrants now have to pay for what was free all this while in the UK. They now have to pay something called as an immigrant health surcharge, which is like an yearly tax per person for non European Economic Area immigrants. And it doesn't depend on how much you're actually going to use the service, you just have to pay it. So how much do you actually have to pay? For all immigration categories, you are expected to pay £200 per person per year. So basically if you're applying for uh, a tier 2 visa, for instance, uh, and you're applying with your spouse that's two per people uh, in the application so you have and if if you're applying for two years say then you have to apply for two people for two years so that would be 800 pounds but that amount reduces to 150 per person if uh, you are a student or applying through the tier 4 route but if you're already in the UK and you're applying for an indefinite leave to remain or a settlement, you don't have to apply for an immigrant health surcharge. So it gets free after that point. And how, how do you actually go about it and how does it actually tie in with your application? The process is that you actually apply for the immigrant health surcharge uh, the right amount, obviously depending upon uh, how many years you're applying for, and how many how many applicants are you applying uh, with you just apply for the IHS through the uh, gov.uk amount and get an IHS uh, reference number keep it handy and when you're actually applying uh, when you're actually making your visa application you have to quote this IHS number so as simple as that uh, it is quite a straightforward system, they've designed it quite well, it's quite easy to use, so all you have to do is pay the right amount through the gov.uk website and you get a reference number, keep that reference number handy and use it in your visa application. That's all you need to do. And if you happen to pay more by accident, uh, the right amount uh, is taken and the remainder is actually refunded to you it's done quite uh, efficiently to be honest um, a very straightforward system you just have to make sure that you do it and you do it before your visa application you anyway won't be able to process uh, or pro sorry proceed with your visa application unless you actually provide that IHS reference number which you'll get after you provide uh, details uh, 
payment details and actually pay for your immigrant health surcharge. Okay, so that was a bit of background uh, on the immigrant health surcharge. Uh, I hope this answers uh, a few questions uh, that I get every now and again about the immigrant health surcharge and uh, you kind of understand the concept and the rationale of it. Uh, and hopefully uh, you keep liking my videos and uh, thank you all very much for the support for the channel so far. Uh, rest assured I will be answering all of your questions uh, on comments and emails just as I always do. Uh, and I will be coming up with fresh content as and when I get the time. Uh, the frequency of uh, uploads uh, in this channel is not very high, I understand, but uh, it depends on uh, my schedule and uh, if, if and when I find anything relevant, I definitely will post that content. But please uh, provide support for the, for the content on this channel by liking and subscribing and spreading the word. And uh, I thank you all very much once again and hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, whatever it is. Uh, just love yourself and keep well.